Hi, my name is Stanford Jensen. I'm going to give you a quick overview of the Thermahex radiant heating and cooling system that I've installed in my self-built house. Right here we have a Thermahex panel, and I'm going to give you a quick overview of how that works. Okay, so on the Thermahex panel, you have your hydronic fluid that comes in and is introduced into the panel near the center, is brought out to the edge of the panel, is spread out evenly across the entire panel, and then is forced to flow turbulently across the entirety of the panel, and the, that turbulent flow increases the, the thermal transfer of the hydronic fluid going through the panel versus if it were in a piece of PEX tubing where it's allowed to flow in a laminar fashion, which reduces the amount of heat transfer that you get. And then once the fluid goes out, it comes, or gets to the other side, comes back to the center, and flows out and into the next panel. The ceiling that you see above me has already had panels installed across the entire length of it, except for we've left gaps in the panels where the lights go. And then all the panels in this ceiling are mounted on these aluminum tracks that run across the ceiling. And then you can see that we've got the drywall put in there. And then on this ceiling right here, where there are panels that have been installed and they're screwed straight to the ceiling because in this ceiling there's a chase. And because of the beams going across the ceiling, there's not room for more panels. And the panels that are there are plenty sufficient. This room is controlled by this thermostat. In this house, there are 10 thermostats. Each room is independently controlled by the thermostat in that room. Right now, this one thermostat is controlling the entire house while we are still under construction. Here's the mechanical closet. That thermostat is talking, that HBX thermostat is talking to these HBX controllers right here. Then these HBX controllers can call for the circulator pump to turn on and, and bring heat into the system, which it's running right now. This controller, well, and then it controls these solenoid valves and opens solenoid valves to send the heat, the, the hydronic fluid to the correct room that's calling for it. Right now I have the power turned off to these so that they all stay open. So that way I can control the entire house with just one, with one thing. But this is, this is wired up, ready to go. All I got to do is turn on my power right here and this thing's off to the races. Right here, this controller right here is from Chiltrix and it is monitoring the humidity in the house right there on that humidistat. And that way when I'm running this in cooling mode, it will keep the water, the temperature of the water above the dew point in the house so that I don't have to worry about condensation happening on my ceilings. And we can see right now the water that's being introduced in this system is 72 degrees. And this is the controller for the Chiltrix, my Chiltrix heat pump that is outside. Uh, it's a Chiltrix CX34. And we can see right now the water going into it is 68 degrees and the water coming out of it is 81.5 degrees. <coughs> Okay, this here's the heart of the system. I put this down in my uh, crawl space that is underneath the house. And so right now, this circulator pump is on and running. I don't know if you can hear it in the video or not. It's pretty quiet. And it's sending the fluid up. And then these pipes are supplying the manifolds. And then as it comes back, it comes back into these pipes here on the return line, we have a an air set, a spiral vent air cir circulate or air separator right here. Uh, we have a glycol pump feeder right here that monitors the pressure inside the system and makes sure that we make sure that we keep a consistent pressure. We have an expansion tank. This is the mixing valve so that from Chill Tricks that keeps us above the dew point when we're in cooling mode. And then this is a 16 gallon buffer tank, and so. This side of the system is running independently of the Chiltrix side of the system and it's just circulating water out of the buffer tank and back into the buffer tank. And the Chiltrix heat pump is monitoring the temperature of the water in the heat in this buffer tank and, it, and right now it's actually running so when we go out there it will be running. And over there, here's the other side of the buffer tank. So this is the return side. We have a spin down filter, keeping, making sure that we keep the system clean. We have another air separator. And then on the return side, we have a mixing valve 
that goes to my hot, that allows the uh, Chiltrick system to preheat water in my hot water heater, or just actually heat it. And, and then of course it comes into the buffer tank. So right now it's running into the buffer tank and this pipe is at 80 degrees like we saw. All right, here's the CX-34. It's currently running. So it has a circulator pump inside of it. So all of the refrigerant is just kept inside of the unit right here. And as it circulates the hydronic fluid through it, it's either heating or cooling it, depending on what we're asking for at the time. Uh, and so on the back side of this, we just have the, the fluid coming in and then returning, not much to it. This is a three ton unit. Uh, the energy calculations on my house say that I really only probably need about just over half a ton. So it's uh, plenty big. And so far it hasn't had a problem keeping up and really only tends to run a couple hours each day. Of course right now it's kind of windy and you can see it's snowing, so that has an effect. But anyway, so far it's been a great system. Super quiet, very comfortable, uh, really been uh, an awesome thing to learn about and, and a joy to be able to install and run. And uh, something that I was looking, you know, that I really for years wanted to do as, I was build, as I've been building this house and designing it. And so happy to run into Thermahex and be able to do this.